D'Angelo Martin, the man called a person of interest in the murders of two women found in vacant houses, was back in court today. He's facing assault with intent to murder, four criminal sexual conduct charges in another attack on a woman who actually got away. Let's bring in Jason Colthorpe, and you've been following the hearing today. Yeah, I have, guys. And uh, to say that this was quite difficult to listen to at times uh, is an understatement. This began on May 6th when Martin met this woman who isn't being identified at a crack house in Detroit. His name was the only thing D'Angelo Martin said to the court as he faced the 26-year-old woman prosecutors say he raped and then tried to kill. Martin had invited the woman to his mother's house to eat, shower, and sleep. She testified Martin's aggressiveness began by getting in the shower with her uninvited. And then when she tried to go to sleep, she says Martin pushed to have sex. I'm telling him that I don't need to be here. I can leave. I already took my shower, I already ate, I can leave, I don't want sex, this is not about sex. You know, I just really need sleep. Like, I'm really tired. She went to sleep, but woke up to a steak knife in her neck. My next memory is waking up to a sharp knife going to, to, to shocking pressure going into my neck. Just like a jab, like just going straight through my body, through my neck. She says that's when Martin began to rape her. At some point, she pulled the knife out of her own neck and begged Martin not to kill her. Saying, please, um, can you call the ambulance? Please don't kill me, please. I have three children. Martin's attorney pressed the woman on the issue of consent. It culminated with this exchange. So you told this court that you slid up a little bit so he could get inside of you. Is that correct? I didn't, maybe, maybe, oh my goodness, I'm going to take a break. The woman said she finally got away by pushing him off her and grabbing the knife and stabbing at Martin until she was able to run up the stairs and one of those family members who were there called 911. Martin was bound over on all five charges and will go to trial later this month.